Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys all of the different customization options for the new ISO SMG. I have just done one for the AN94. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check my channel for that video. But this one is going to be the ISO. Like I've said in all my videos today, I apologize for my kind of rough voice. I have woke up and I have literally, as soon as I've woken up, I've already made about four videos for this season. So check my channel and I should have you guys covered on a lot of videos, how to level up fast, etc. Um, so yeah, check my channel and you guys can go ahead and watch those. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the different customization options for the new ISO SMG. So first up, muzzle. Exactly the same as what we would see on pretty much every single other weapon we have in this game. Pretty basic, nothing new, so I'm not going to really talk about um, anything specifically in this part. But yeah, as you can see, flashcard, tactical suppressor, muzzle brake, breach of device, all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, pretty much the basic kind of uh, default attachments that we have on every other weapon. Barrel, I expect to see some new little attachments. So yeah, all right, cool. We've got the 225mm dominator barrel. Increases the damage range, bullet velocity, uh, with a slight increase in ADS speed. We got this one right here called the FSS Revolution. It increases the accuracy, range, and all of that kind of stuff in the control with a even bigger nerf to the mobility. And then we got this one, which is a close quarter uh, compact barrel. And then we got this one right here, which is an integral monolithic suppressor, which is probably going to be really good for Warzone, I imagine. And then we're going to go ahead and increase the accuracy range and control. So, yeah, like I said, um, I I imagine um, from experience from other weapons, this one right here is probably going to be the best attachment because you get the monolithic suppressor and you also get a barrel in one attachment. So in my personal opinion, that one looks like it does the best. Um, and comparing it to the other one that increases the range, it does increase the range, accuracy, and control a little bit more. If you guys look at the stats now in the middle, and look at the stats now, these stats are higher, um, but it has a bigger increase in mobility, which really doesn't matter because it's still pretty high, and it has um, a monolithic suppressor as well. So that attachment right there is definitely, in my opinion, going to be one of the best attachments you could be using on that barrel. That sounds pretty good. Uh, lasers are pretty default, nothing new here, tack laser, 5 milliwatt laser, and 1 milliwatt laser. We got the optic sights, once again, I'm pretty sure all of these are standard and pretty, yeah, pretty basic. All of these are the same we normally get on SMGs. The stocks, we got the tack ultralight, we got the stalker, we got the vagrant, and we got the collapsible. So, for me, I would probably go ahead and use the ultralight stock. This is the similar stock to the MP7 stock, which I would use. And um, for multiplayer, that's for Warzone. And then for multiplayer, I would probably go ahead and use this collapsible stock. But then again, um, collapsible stocks do count as no stock. So um, the recoil is quite a lot ever since the most recent update. They have had a nerf to the no stock. So yeah, um, perks are exactly the same, I'm guessing. Yes, perks are exactly the same as usual. Um, rear grip exactly the same well no we got the you know they've just got different names so uh, we got the stiffle grip tape granulated and then the other one so yeah uh, pretty basic the one I would probably use is going to be the second one there ammunition we've got 50 drums which is very very nice to hear and 30 round mags so I'd probably go ahead and stick on the 50 and then lastly we've got the commando foregrips etc pretty basic nothing new here uh, but yeah, uh, the one I would probably go ahead and use is the Commando foregrip. So the actually no, actually I think I'd go ahead and use the Merc foregrip instead. Yeah, um, or maybe the Ranger foregrip. Hmm, probably the Ranger foregrip on that one. Yeah, probably. Actually no, the Merc foregrip, Merc foregrip, Merc foregrip. Yeah, the hip fight accuracy on the Merc foregrip is pretty nice. So. Uh, looks like I've already made a class setup for you guys. So at the end of these videos, I usually just show you guys a quick class setup that I would probably use uh, in this game. Uh, so. This class right here is going to be my multiplayer class setup. And for Warzone, honestly, I think I would probably use the same class setup. For Warzone, I'd probably swap to the Ultralight stock. And that is about it, really. So that is the uh, all the attachments. And that is also the best class setup. So once again, this is for Warzone. And then the one simple change for multiplayer would be to use the collapsible stock instead. So there we go. 
there's all the different attachments hopefully this video helped you out if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace